Osborne takes on Martin Adams. And watching this one in the commentary box for us, it's Glenn Dummant and Paul Nicholson. Thanks, H. Yes, the end of round two is nigh already. And what's been, for me, quite a surprising morning so far. Quite a lot of victories by considerable margins. And on top of that, of our five games so far in Group C, four of them have been won against the darts, including the third game of the day where Martin lost 4-0 to Justin Smith. But he's since lost his second match. Can Martin respond fast against the Wizard? Yeah, I think my question here is, can Colin play as well as he did last time and can Martin play as bad as he did last time? Uh, just did not come out. And then, uh, notice he was having a chat at the end of it. He was showing something on his hand or his arm. So whether he is an issue there with Martin Adams, but I don't think I've ever seen him play that bad. And could be. I mean, he looks fine there. He looks like he's throwing the data as well as ever. Uh, but for Aussie, okay, first leg, it's Colin to throw first. Uh, Colin had a difficult Game couple on. of days coming into today, and uh, I voiced me concerns when. When asked the question, but uh, yeah, he proved me wrong because he looked absolutely brilliant. The, the darts looks like they're going in with purpose again now. Definitely 60. speeded up his uh, throw these days or or this week. And that might be something when he when he looks back on his game. We oh, have yeah. had some answers to our question this morning about how many doubles have not been hit to win a world title. Alan Harrop has been in touch, saying he thinks it's three. Sorry, Alan. It's not three. So, there you go. 41. So, keep guessing, if you can. How many doubles have never been hit to win a world title? Now, I'm sure you don't need me to remind you of this, Glenn. But you've won as many Lakeside Championships as this man. Quite the dominant period you two had. And... It's some pretty good games there too, didn't you? But the game changed my life. People, I get asked the question, your best game that you've ever played in, and you know, it's a game that I lost. Just a game where I was just a Super League player, I felt county player, and all of a sudden I'm on a semi-final stage with that great man there, and uh, just the whole occasion. It was just the audience, the crowd. They were just, it was unbelievable. And it was, you know, a 95 percent uh, wolfy crowd like it is at Lakeside. Forty five. I just, yeah, I couldn't get over the winning line because I just wasn't used to it before. But I did go to bed that night thinking, well, I know what I need to do now if I, I want to win a Lakeside title. So just an immense game. We didn't have to wait too long for it. One after that one. 180. We didn't have to wait too long for our first maximum of this game. And so far today, we haven't waited very long between maximums either. Osborne, in his first game, had three. Miraculously, that wasn't the most. Calling you require 80. And he still won by four legs to one. Adams has left double 18 after 12. This is much improved from him, but he might be shut out by Aussie on double five. That was a bit wild. 70. Actually, physically see the uh, higher move then. A double five in his first match is what got him going. But for Adams, game show already the first with a 13 down to Adams. much better performance than his first game of the day. Wolfie is back. Yeah, that's a great double. Great leg. Second leg is Martin to throw first. He's not wearing his Game on. prostate cancer charity shirt today, but you can see the emblem on the left sleeve and on the collar for the charity that he is so passionate about. He has had quite the journey over the hey, last 35. 30 to 40 years within his personal life and in his career. And you see that number 26 on the back of his collar. Now, in darts, 26 is almost frowned upon as a number because nobody likes to hit 26. But 26 for Wolfie is a good number because that's how many Lakeside Championships he's been part of. Yeah, we've talked about shirts this week, but you know his Lakeside shirts were iconic, weren't they? And 83. That emblem on the back there, it was just synonymous to Lakeside for me. Do you know what I'd love somebody to do? Have you ever seen that? program that they do on another network where they go with a, a famous footballer through their shirts through 60. their career i'd love somebody to do that with phil taylor with martin adams with Rami van barneveld maybe with yourself people of that sort of standing just to 
talk about the stories of Whoa, said shirts. 190. Adams is a completely different wolf to the pup that was in match number three. It's almost as if he's woken up now after pressing the snooze button. 60. Yes, he's hungry like 100, a wolf for this game now. I think nobody will be more disappointed than he was after that first game. I think it was a shock to us all. But this is so much better as he looks to treble 19. Okay, so 60 off leaves 93. 84. 84 left, confirmed by our referee Owen Binks, who hey, is he not? a very fine mathematician, as you have to be as a ref, as well as other things. When I first went on the video tour, when I we used to watch Martin, how he prepared, when did he practice, and... 93. Yeah, he was Martin someone I was points, uh, just concentrating an awful lot as he looks at treble 16 here. He'll stay there. He's not a tops guy. He's more of a double 16 kind of guy. And that's why. On the second leg. 15 dollar. Martin Adams. Coupled with a 13, give you 107 average. Slightly better than the first game, which was just under 70. So it's Colin to throw first. But game I think on. one of the reasons why this is possible for Martin is because he doesn't dwell on the past, whether it's an hour ago, 10 years ago, he just plods along. 60. And he has about as strong a mind as anybody has had in the game because he went through his own challenges, didn't he? Losing finals, losing titles to other people. But then when he finally got across the line in one of the great matches of all time against Phil Nixon, you could see the raw emotion at getting that championship because it was, finally, I've done it. 100. Yes, the late great Phil Nixon. They have his shirt at home. I miss that guy, you know. He was just... A pocket full of joy. T3. Uh, the, do you know the thing that remembers we went to um, his local club for a North East versus North West. Fantastic. He ran by Graham Stoddart and uh, Daryl Fitton, you know, representing Captain and both sides. T3. Bizarrely, I played Daryl Gurney. I played Ross Smith. Did you? <laughs> it was a great evening. And it was all set up quite quickly in aid of Phil Nixon and his treatment. And... I'm not over embellishing this, I promise you, because I have somebody next to me who could prove this. Standing room only, and standing room only is at a push. You could barely get in the place. That was half past five. We, we arrived early. One hundred and forty. barely get my friends in there. Never, never thought of, we need tickets. And uh, I don't remember the speech as well. But yeah. Travel 19E for Adams, who was part of that speech. And what a finish this would be from the great man. Game Sensational, Martin Adams. Absolutely Martin sick Adams. as a parrot he was after the first game. Probably couldn't understand why. Nowhere near his best. He's come out this time against well, a Martin very impressive Colin Osborne game in his first game. And that 157 has been the highlight today. And just a mere three from three on the checkouts. And just a tiny 112.72 average. It might even get better. It might even get 140. better. So if he puts in a 12 daughter here or a 13 daughter, that will improve. Osborne has been hit hard. Osborne hasn't played bad. 100. Just get the feeling that 100 is not enough in this game. And it's proven by the first three darts exchanged in here in like four. I think I underrated this group this morning as I was... Sati preparing because this has been 100. so far the best start to any group I've been involved with in the commentary box. I think all six players will be really pleased. Certainly if Martin Adams can get over the victory line, he'll be feeling good about himself. And Colin, despite being 66. heavily beaten here, like I said, hasn't played too bad. The only person who would have no points... At the end of round two, could be John Henderson, which is something no, I didn't think I was going to be seeing this morning. And Justin Smith has won a game and is now sitting on a leg difference of plus one, thanks to that 4-1 loss to Matt Clark. Osborne hey, and Adams could well 
change places if this leg is won by Wolfie. Adams started with a 4-0 loss. He could draw all of those legs back and put Osborne in a negative leg difference column at this early stage. There is nothing he's doing that is wrong. Everything is working. I wonder if Dave Prince, who plays him next week, was thinking, ah, lovely, Adams is not in form no more. Well, you might have been buoyed by the fact that Martin started poorly, Dave. But he is finding form fast. Double 16. Extraordinary. That's not only the best average we've seen so far today, it's the best we've seen this week. And Wolfie is ready to howl. That's got him in the mix. And Group C is just getting started. 111.33. And I think... Off the top of my head, that equalizes his personal best when he's been with us for the last couple of years. So that just goes to show what kind of Nick Martin Adams is in. And his doubles weren't bad either. He didn't miss one of them. And he had a big out of 157. What a performance. We'll take a short break. And when we come back, it'll be the start of round three.